All right, let's watch this one. Um, Andrew Tate on how an elite messaged him. Uh, the Fellows Podcast. Let's see this and let's go. All right, so last night, right? Yeah. Ah, fuck. Come on. Free speech. Oh, you can cut it if you want to cut it. We'll cut it afterwards. You want, yeah. You're an advocate so last, for free speech. All right, so last night, right? So I'm in London. Because you guys say, like, I didn't sleep. I was drinking last night as well. So I, yeah. I have a hangover too. As really? you can tell, I'm not completely on point. Yeah. What did you got? <laughs> close? You, you had to close? <laughs> no, well, that, that, that does not seem true. <laughs> no, um, so I was out I was last night and I got a message on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Some guy I used to know for a long time, et cetera, et cetera. He says, hey, let's have a cigar. I said, hey, cool, let's have a cigar. We went, we met, we had a cigar. And he said, hey, man, I just want to show you some videos. And he yeah. showed me some videos of him with some very famous people. I won't say their names, some famous people. He said, bro, you need to be careful. He goes, what? He goes, when I was hanging around with these people. I don't have a heart attack attack near, near me, you fucking. They <laughs> had to sell their soul. <laughs> bro, why? To agree to get that level of influence. These are like some of those famous people. Yeah. Like, he's saying that the people who are in charge of controlling the narrative don't like people who have a huge, huge influence who they don't control yeah. to some degree. And the internet's changed that, but still, people who have a massive influence over populations and society, they want to control one way or another, and you need to be very careful. And I was yeah. Like, I kind of knew all this. All right. All yeah. Right, don't worry about it. He goes, no, you he's grown up. You said that about. before. Lol. Yeah, I know. I know. No. Andrew Tate is sick. I love this, dude, man. hours after this conversation, it was about 2 a.m. last night, I got a message on my WhatsApp saying, hey, my name is XX. I'm a friend of this guy. This is where I got your number. We want to invite you to a private party. There's a private island. We want to invite you to. A Not a private party. island, bro. We can't be doing these islands no more. It man. can't be an Epstein island, bro. We can't. We can't uh, if we that. find out you're uh, up to. I'm telling you now on the podcast to show up when I'm not fucking doing it. But if I get right. smoked, you know why. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Okay, cool. we got you. We got you. So if I get smoked, take these fuckers with me. <laughs> nah, no, fuck that. It's for their views. <laughs> but fuck that. It's for their views. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, Hawaii. You're gonna, gonna chip tape. You're gonna let your you're own son. You're gonna let your son go out. We like die together. <laughs> oh no. You know what? I'll ride or die, man. I'm out for you. All right, you. Cool. <laughs> Leave me the fuck out of this, please. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they were just like, look, it's it, it. You know, there's 500 people, 400 girls, 100 guys. It's private. It's invite only. Okay. It's in July. Blah, blah. And I was like, this is weird. And, and, and then I'm thinking, well, maybe yeah, I do have quite a lot of influence, etc. Maybe people would like some leverage over me. Maybe they would like, you know, a, ho a video of me in a hotel room with, even if it's just chicks, even if it's just something normal, but they get the video and they fucking flip it. And, there, there are things that come with fame that start making you be careful, especially with me as well, because I'm a, seen as a bad guy. True. I'm a bad man, right? So I have to be very, very careful who I interact with. Like, I have no new friends. I talk to the same people I spoke to when I was broke. I have no new friends. I don't hire no new people. I've been invited by some very, very, some of the most, I could tell you names you wouldn't believe, but the most famous people on the planet have DM'd me saying, hey, come to my party. I'm like, no. Fuck wow. You. I'm staying away from all of it, right? Because I want to try to stay outside the Matrix. I think there's a level to the Matrix. Once you get caught in, you're, you're fucked again. So I'm saying this on Spotify. So I would never kill myself, firstly. There it is. And Dad. secondly, <laughs> it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, man. So, like, there's, there's a lot going on in the world that you have to be, that I'm very conscious of. Nice. Yeah, nice. Great video, man. Nice.